Uh, Miss Gaines, <clears throat> what's the average day like for a young lady trying to compete at the level you've competed at in terms of training? So I started swimming when I was four. Um, I graduated college when I was 22, so I dedicated 18 years of my life to my sport, which of course includes your sport-specific training, swimming, but also weightlifting, also your diet, also your sleep schedule, not to mention the social sacrifices you have to make. At the collegiate level, we were swimming in the water every single day for six hours, three of those hours being before 8 a.m. So you practice from 5 to 8, you go to class, you come back to practice, you swim from 1.30 to 4.30. We ate dinner at 5 o'clock because we were starving. Um, eat dinner, do your homework, ice your shoulder, go to bed, wake up, you do it all again the next day. We were swimming over 10 miles on average every single day. Uh, Dr. Lopez. <clears throat> Do you believe that Leah Thomas had a, an advantage uh, in swimming because she was a biological male who transitioned sometime late in college? I am not a sports medicine physician. Um, I can only um, relate to the stand of the sports medicine federal um, associate, international association. What do they say? They do not recommend the exclusion of transgender individuals in they sports. Believe, do they believe it's fair for Leah Thomas, who spent three years swimming for the men's team in the senior year of college to compete in the women's division? They think that's okay? As, as a medical professional, I don't have the scientific well, expertise let, let me to provide person, an opinion. Let me tell you as a person, you don't need a medical degree. This is not okay. This is definitely not okay. You work all your life training <clears throat> in, as a swimmer, competing against biological girls, and you wind up your senior in college competing with somebody who three years swam as a guy, and you lose. Uh, Ms. Robinson, do 80% of Americans support biological males competing in women's athletics? I can say more than 70% of Americans believe that the no, rash the, of, of attacks on trans no, sports is, really is the wrong political simple priority. Question. Do 80% of Americans support biological males participating in female sports? I mean, what I, I can't verify that, but what I can well, say is I can is tell that you it's not even close that there's nothing wrong with you if you have a problem with Miss Gaines feeling cheated. There's nothing wrong with you if you have a problem with Miss Gaines feeling uncomfortable in a locker room. There's nothing wrong with you. Now, we'll sort this out as a nation, but this idea that something's wrong with her because she feels cheated is absurd. You have every right to feel that way. And I imagine a lot of young ladies do feel uncomfortable being in a locker room under the situation you described. Mr. Sharp, what's the purpose of your organization and what's your message to America? Yeah. Senator, we want to protect the freedom of all Americans. Um, and that includes our desire to ensure that children and women, that their interests are protected, that they're not harmed by this gender ideology that's being pushed, um, and that each of us is free to, to live and work and speak without being coerced or punished by the government because of our good faith beliefs. One final question, Ms. Gaines. Um, do you think the experience you had um, in the dressing room is something that young girls throughout the country share your views? I get messages every single day from girls of all, all over the political spectrum. We mentioned this issue being politicized. This is not politics for me. This is a real life issue, and I wanna put it on record. I don't believe trans athletes should be banned from sports. That's the rhetoric that's being pushed from the opposition. Um, Anti-trans bill bans trans athletes. Trans athletes should not be banned from playing sports. Of course not. I just want everyone to compete where it's fair and where it's safe, and I don't understand how that's, that's overly controversial. But yes, um, especially at that NCAA championships, every single girl, at least on my team, being a team captain, I had these conversations with my team, and there was 40 girls on my team, we all felt the same way. I've had the conversations. We all felt uncomfortable in that locker room. Thank you.